we may start uh, initial uh, or informal talkings until other people have joined. Okay, uh, at first, uh, Fahim, uh, say a few words about you uh, before we have started formally. Say a few words about you in English. Assalamu alaikum, sir. Wa alaikum assalam. Just uh, 20 to 30 seconds about you. Thank you, sir. I am uh, Fahim Shakil. I am, uh, I am a graduate from Chitong University of Engineering and Technology, Chuet, in discipline of mechanical engineering. And 43rd BCS was my first BCS that I uh, recommended as uh, a ninth grade uh, non cadet officer. And uh, I am now a 44 BCS Viva aspirant. Spent. Thank you, Good. sir. It's nice. all about okay. to me. Okay, while speaking, we will keep our video on so that communication becomes very effective. Okay, you will have to have preparation so that you can keep your video on while speaking. Well, uh, Sadia, uh, say a few words about you. It's good if you keep your video on, okay? Well. Um, sir, I am Sadia Sultana. I have completed my graduation from Bangladesh Agricultural University. Uh, the My faculty was Doctor of Veterinary Medicine yeah. and 44th BCS is my first BCS. First BCS, nice, okay. Well, what is your expectation from this 44th BCS Viva speaking course, especially? What is your uh, expectation from this course? So my expectations is uh, I want to speak fluently in English. Okay, fluently in English. Okay, nice, good. Okay, uh, now let's start. At first, uh, before starting, I would like to say uh, what type of barriers we usually face while speaking English. And if we have a careful look, we find uh, three to four barriers. Uh, first one is oral inasha. Oral inasha means uh, we uh, get stuck or we get blocked while speaking. Words doesn't seem to come out from our uh, mouth. Uh, this is one of the issue. Why it happens? It happens because we do not practice regularly. This is one of the region. Another uh, region before uh, our uh, before our failure is uh, congenial environment. We can say we have not get. Uh, we haven't got congenial environment uh, throughout our academic uh, or professional life. And that's why we feel shy while speaking in front of others. And we think that what other people will say if we make errors or mistake. And here we will have to give uh, emphasis on that. We will have to go through errors. We may make mistake, we'll uh, correct it with the passage of time, but we will have to build up the habit of speaking. Habit of speaking, it may be wrong or it may be right. We will try to uh, correct ourselves. Another issue is lexical resources or vocabulary. Uh, if we have not sufficient vocabulary or if we need uh, more than one second to recall the words, we will not be able to speak what we exactly want to feel. Because if you want to communicate verbally, you have to use words in uh, uh, less than one second. You have to recall the words in less than one second. That's why we will have to be able to recall words uh, uh, within uh, say uh, fraction of seconds. And another issue for uh, BCS Viva speaking, if we say here, you will be asked some uh, tough questions sometimes, some critical questions, some analytical questions. And the question, depth of the question uh, may astonish you or may conf confound you. In that case, we will have to thorough knowledge on that particular topic, and we will have to speak those things again and again in English. And uh, most of the cases, uh, if your choice is general, Polish, or foreign cadres, your Viva will be in English. That's why you will have to practice the questions in English. All the questions here, we will practice in English. Here at first, uh, I'd like to show you the course outline that we will go here, go through here. And uh, okay, uh, just uh, one minute. And I have shared uh, this course outline, and I think you all have uh, you all have uh, seen this. Uh, day one is uh, very easy. It is uh, say topic describing daily routine, uh, then asking questions about educational background. Day two, why do you want to be a BCS cadre? 
and asking questions about uh, hometown. Day three, topic introducing yourself or say something about you, asking questions about liberation where. And day four, relation between your subject and first choice. Asking questions about functions of BCS cadres, functions of deputy commissioner, functions of the cabinet secretary, functions of the principal secretary. And day five, topic, five important personalities of your hometown or district and their contribution to the nation. Asking questions from the budget for the fiscal year 2023 and 24. Day six, describing an important book on liberation where asking questions about important international uh, uh, il, uh, events. Day seven, Bangabundu, the father of the nation, asking questions about family life, Bangabundu, his political life, jail life, and books. And day eight, describing how you have come to BPSC for Baiba, asking questions about bureaucracy, corruption, good governance, and the constitution of Bangladesh. Topic nine, one mega development projects of the present government, asking questions about the development projects of the present government. Day 10, topic Myanmar crisis, and questions about achievements of the present government in various fields, including electricity, generation, mega development projects, submarine flyovers, metro rail, and women empowerment. Day 11, uh, topic Hamas, Israel, where, and asking questions about uh, where between Hamas and Israel, questions about unbridled price hike of daily essential commodities. Day 12, uh, world refugee uh, crisis, questions about solution to refugee crisis. Day 13, foreign policy of Bangladesh, asking questions about the formation of Bangladesh Awami League and its founder uh, leaders. Day 14, Sheikh Hasina, the incumbent prime minister of Bangladesh, asking questions about the challenges of the uh, present government. Then uh, day uh, 15, what will you do if we, BPSC, do not recommend you as BCS cadre or your strength and weaknesses? Asking questions about various agitation from 1757 to 1940. Day 16, why should we recommend you as a BCS cadre? What are your strengths and weaknesses? Day 17, uh, historic seven March piece of Bangabundu Sheikh Mujibur Rahman. Asking questions about important events from 1940 to 1970. Day 18, uh, topic uh, arrangements of the incumbent uh, attainments of the incumbent governments asking questions about attainments of the present government day 19 challenges of the present government asking questions about challenges of the present government day uh, 20 mock viva and these are the uh, topics that i have selected and we'll go through and if you have any suggestion uh, we'll take into uh, the same uh, consideration so that we can make our classes more lively and interactive. And uh, here, uh, if you have any suggestion, and uh, in case of uh, materials, I will provide you materials in PDF form. Answers, all the questions will be here, and answers of some questions, some topics will also be added. Uh, 70 to 80 percent information you will get from me, and another uh, 30 percent you will have to prepare yourself. And if you have any uh, recommendations or suggestion, uh, if you want to add something to the selected topic that we have added, we may also add these things. Okay, uh, at first tell me, have you any suggestion after that you have gone through, we should add something to this? Uh, Fahim, uh, other people have not joined today. Anyway, okay, Fahim, uh, have you any suggestion out of the topic? Sir, uh, the, yeah. the only suggestion is, sir, uh... We have to practice more and more mock bhaivas. Mock bhaiva. We will have to have uh, uh, speak more and more mock bhaiva. That means every day you we can, will, yeah, every day. Yes, sir, we, every day we have to yeah. speak. Yes, I think. yes. Every day we will give you floor. You will speak. Just I will listen. Okay, I will hear. And if yes, you sir. make any errors, I'll point it out. And I think uh, that, I think that this is the only point. Yes. To, um, yes. And, uh, have a good fiber. Yes. And after that, after you uh, finishing, uh, after finishing your speech, all the participants will ask you questions. You will have to answer the uh, questions. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And uh, then it will be much more interactive, sir. Uh, yes, yes, much sir. more interactive. This way we will go through. Okay. Uh, before starting, I'd like to say we will have to uh, say uh, maintain some uh, maintain some formalities and uh, not formalities. So we can say some manners while speaking. When uh, we fail to understand uh, anybody's question, uh, we are used to you saying sorry. 
but we should not uh, say sorry. So or what we should say, could you repeat please or pardon me? Say, if we fail to understand what other people say, if uh, we fail uh, to understand, understand what other people say, what other people say, other uh, people say, uh, we should say, we should say, uh, pardon me, pardon me, pardon me. Okay, uh, or uh, could you repeat, please? Uh, could you, uh, could you repeat, please? Uh, could you repeat, please? Or, uh, or you can say, uh, uh, could you make me understand? Uh, could you uh, make me understand? Or you can say, uh, could you rephrase the question? Could you uh, rephrase the questions? Refresh the uh, questions. Could you uh, repeat, please? Uh, could you make me understand or could you rephrase the questions? We can say any one of the four. And here, could you rephrase the question? When we should say this one, could you rephrase the question? Say you uh, have been asked something or somebody has uh, told something, but you couldn't understand the meaning of the words. In that case, you should say, could you rephrase the question? Meaning of the words, that you do not know the meaning of particular word. In that case, you will have to say, could you rephrase the question? But if you fail to hear, say he has spoken uh, slowly or his voice was not clear enough uh, to hear from your position. In that case, you say, pardon me, or could you replace, or could you make me understand? But if we fail to understand what he has said, the words that he has uttered, we should say, could you refresh the questions? And uh, if anybody, uh, if we want to ask somebody a personal question, how we should ask? If we want to ask somebody a personal question, if uh, we want uh, to ask somebody, somebody a uh, personal questions, a uh, personal, personal uh, question uh, we uh, should uh, say okay uh, uh, Sadia uh, will you tell me what we should say if we want to ask somebody a personal question uh, what we should say or how we sh should we ask this question uh, may I may I use Kurta Paris sir yes we can use me uh, or uh, we have to take uh, we have to take permission that means we will have to seek permission before taking or asking any personal questions say uh, uh, would you mind if uh, 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 would you mind or uh, okay uh, would you mind sharing these things or sharing these things or would I ask you a personal question at first you can say would I ask you a personal uh, questions? Would I ask you a personal question? If he says yes, then you can ask him personal questions. So uh, uh, if he says yes, you could, then you can ask him or her a personal question. Well, somebody has asked you some embarrassing questions. When you have given him or her this permission, if he has asked you some embarrassing questions, uh, so like this, if he or she asks you, uh, very, very personal questions that you are uh, not willing. Say, when, when we are unwilling uh, to answer any personal question, any uh, personal questions, uh, any personal uh, question, we uh, should uh, say, Okay, uh, uh, Fahim, keep your video on. Fahim, keep your video on, then communication will be effective. Keep your video on. Okay, Sade also keep video on, then communication will be effective. When we are unwilling to answer any personal question, uh, we should say what? Uh, 
Uh, Fahim, uh, take, can you tell me uh, what you should say here? Say, suppose uh, anybody has asked you, are you married? Or have you any love affair? Or, uh, uh, or something that is very much uh, embarrassing for you. In that case, what should you say? You are unwilling to answer these questions. Fine. Unmute, unmute yourself. Unmute yourself and then talk. Unmute yourself and then talk. Yes, sir. I, I will. I will then uh, say him that I am not interested to talk with you. I am not interested. About, about... Uh, I am not interested. Interested to talk with you. Uh, doesn't it uh, look uh, something harsh or say unsocial or something like that? Actually, Maybe. sir, I will leave that topic. You would leave that. I, I, okay, I, I, but I your don't... answer should be polite. When we uh, talk with others, our answer should be very much polite. Sadia, what uh, will you tell in that case? Sorry, I can't go through. I I'm not interested to go through this topic. I'm not interested to go through this topic. Uh, no, we should say, would you mind if I don't share this with you? Here, uh, we'll say, would you mind if I don't share these things with you? Would you mind if I don't say, would you mind? Uh, would you? Would you mind if? I uh, don't share, uh, don't share this with you, this with you. Would you mind if I don't share this with you? So like this way, and uh, tone should be very much polite. Tone should be very much, would you mind if I don't share this with you? Like uh, our tone will be very much uh, polite. Suppose another issue, uh, suppose anybody uh, seeks something from you, but you are not in a position to give him or her that one. Uh, how you should say, suppose, uh, say, uh, if uh, uh, say uh, somebody seeks your help or you are not in a position to give him. Uh, in that case, what should you say? Uh, uh, what say somebody, uh, somebody uh, seeks your help, but uh, somebody wants wants something from you, something uh, something from you, from you. But you are not in a position. But you are not in a position in a position uh, to provide the same. Like, say, if anybody uh, want to ask you a question like this, uh, say, uh, if we say, uh, could you lend me, uh, could you lend uh, me 500 taka? Okay, uh, that he has sought your help. Uh, uh, could you lend me 500 taka? But you are not in a position to give him 500 taka. Then Sadia, what uh, what will you tell him or her? I am not able to give you. I am uh, not able to give you. Uh, it, uh, okay. Uh, uh, okay. Uh, uh, Fahim, uh, what? Uh, Mahfuz Rahman has joined. Okay, Mahfuz. Okay, Fahim, uh, what would you tell in that case? Yes, sir. My answer will be that. Uh... Please pardon me. I am not uh, uh, in, 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 in a, a situation to lend you taka 500 now. Okay, uh, we say this to the beggars. When beggars uh, seek some money from us, we say pardon me or uh, go to the next door. But here, Mahfuz Rahman, uh, what should be your answer? Mahfuz Rahman, keep your video on. Okay, uh, what should be your answer in that case? Uh, could you uh, lend me 500 taka? Uh, suppose you are not in a position to lend him. What should be your answer, Mahfuz Rahman, engineer Mahfuz Rahman? Uh, thank you, sir. Actually, uh, uh, in that case, uh, I will try to give uh, that answer. Actually, I could not uh, lend you uh, this taka now, sir. I could not lend you, but it will be harsh, harsh, useless, right? Uh, it doesn't sound well. Hello, sir. Yes, yes, I can hear you. I can hear you. 
yes i can yes i can hear i can hear you you are audible mahfuz you are audible okay yes sir Yes, okay, sir, yes, sir. but uh, but I'm telling that, oh, that uh, or, uh, yes, sir. yes, what you have said, uh, it uh, sounds harsh, uh, useless, or impolite tone. But our tone, yet our tone will be or should yes, be sir. polite one. Say here in this case, we should say something like that. I am afraid not. 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 In Bangla, it is called Ami Bhito Jamar Kachetane. Ami Bhito Jamar Kachetane. I am afraid not. I am afraid not. Okay. Uh, okay. And then, uh, if anybody uh, gives us. Thank you, sir. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Mahabdurrahman. If anybody. Uh, give us thank. Uh, if anybody, if anybody uh, gives us uh, thanks or something like thank you in response to thank you, that means in response to in response to uh, thank you, uh, we uh, should uh, say we should say we know welcome. You are welcome. Welcome, uh, or you are welcome, you are welcome, welcome, no mention please, no mention, uh, please, uh, it's my pleasure, it's my uh, pleasure, okay, Sadia, uh, we should say welcome, you are welcome, uh, say thank you, welcome, or you are welcome, uh, both. Can you tell me when we use no mention, please, uh, Sadia? No mention, please. When we usually use no mention, please. Um, sir, when uh, yes. in our when sir, when me home and ashe basai, tohon amra je bolli na thik ashe. Ekum khetre hote pare. Ah, okay. Ah, uh, Mahfuz Rahman. Mahfuzur Rahman. Actually, sir, when the relation uh, between these two persons is friendly, then uh, I think it needs to be said. Actually, uh, no mention, please. It's, uh, when relation is uh, friendly, uh, friendly in that case, if it is unfriend, unfriendly, it's not possible. Or if it is unknown or uh, not known, yeah. uh, uh, so, so. Fahim. Sir, when the thankfulness is much more overwhelming, uh, then we can say no mention, please. Uh, can you uh, give a situation? Can you give an example? When we should say something like this? If I uh, I, I uh, lend uh, someone uh, taka uh, th thousand or, or much more, then yeah. uh, the receiver can thank me very overwhelming. Helping that uh, you are my saver, you are my, uh, and he he can show much more thankfulness to me. Then I can say uh, no, no, no mention, please. Much more thankfulness. It's okay. Uh, no, uh, yes, uh, okay. Uh, that means uh, when we do something that is not much more important or a uh, uh, trifling matter, suppose uh, a, a person has left the book uh, on the uh, say on the floor or left the pencil or pen on the floor and you have uh, just picked it up and he, in that case he says thank you. Uh, you should say no mention please. Uh, khato Bangla meaning ki are kollam. Bangla meaning means ki are kollam. It means ki are kollam. Uh, here, uh, uh, ki are kollam, that means uh, when you favor someone, that is not much more important or for unimportant work or uh, that is not any uh, anything that is uh, important. In that case, we should say no mention, please. And uh, it's my pleasure when we should say something like this, 
it's my pleasure Sadia. we want to hear from you when we should say it's my pleasure uh, when someone appreciate us and say thank you uh, uh, who is that someone is who is that someone is Um, Who is that someone is? A special someone. Special someone. Uh, Mahfuz Rahman. Uh, who that someone is? Uh, actually, uh, it means for uh, everybody, actually, sir. Every person, known or unknown. Uh, every person known or unknown. Every person known or unknown. Every person known or unknown. Known or unknown. More specifically, uh, we want to hear from Fahim. More specifically, exactly. Sir, actually, actually, if we do any job, that's uh, that is my duty. If I do any job, that is my duty. Yeah. And uh, another one thanks me, then I can say, no, it's my duty, it's my pleasure. This kind of thing. Uh, yes. Okay. Suppose uh, if your superior gives you thank, if your superior uh, give you thank you, superior uh, or boss uh, for uh, doing something, in that case, you can say, no mention, please. Uh, uh, so it's my pleasure, sir. It's my pleasure, sir. Superior, when uh, our superior gives us thanks, it's my pleasure, sir. See, if in BCS Viva Boss, if you are thanked, in that case, you may say, it's my pleasure, sir. I'm delighted. Uh, okay. Uh, it's my pleasure, sir. Something like that. Okay. Well, uh, now, uh, so I think, thank you. Uh, it's gone. And uh, what should we uh, uh, finish our conversation. When we complete our conversation, uh, what should we say? Mahfuz Rahman, uh, what should we say when we finish our conversation with someone else? Uh, it's only uh, in that case, when uh, the conversation will, uh, will be finished, then uh, actually we can use uh, some courtesy like uh, thank you very, very much for your uh, information or for your uh, cordial uh, Thanks to, uh, initially we can say nice or, to meet you nice to talk to you have a good day okay so, uh, we can say something like that yes, sir, yes, yes. Sir. Uh, have a good day nice to meet you if it is uh, meetings for the first time you can say nice to meet you uh, if it is meeting for the first time you can say uh, nice to meet you nice to uh, meet you if it is uh, not meetings for the first time if you have talked uh, earlier and you have talked today as well in that case it's nice to talk to you nice to talk to you nice to uh, talk uh, to you or you can say have a good day uh, or you can say have a good day have a, a good day uh, best of luck uh, best of luck or an answer if somebody say nice to meet you talk to you we can say uh, same to you we can say uh, same uh, to you same uh, to you okay same to you something like this so nice to meet you nice to talk to you have a good day uh, best of luck if anybody uh, accost you like this you will say same to you this way we will finish our conversation so these are the initial talkings that means while uh, speaking with others, we will have to be very, very polite. And if we are unable to do something, even though we sh our tone should be polite, uh, and uh, we will start asking with would or could, if we talk to someone that is superior to us or unknown to us, we'll start would or could. These two words are used in polite expression, not will, nor ca uh, can, uh, okay, not should, will, uh, would, or could. Say, if you want to uh, introduce to someone else, say, you would like to introduce to someone, uh, you would like to introduce to someone, 
if you would like uh, to introduce uh, introduce to someone else someone in that case what you should say i uh, say uh, uh, would i introduce to you would i introduce to you would i uh, would i uh, introduce uh, to you would i introduce to you would i introduce uh, to not with introduce to you and uh, if you want to take anybody's health if you want to take anybody's health if you uh, want to would like to take want to take want to take anybody's health anybody's health uh, you should say you should uh, say uh, could you do me a favor could you uh, do me a favor could you do me a favor apni ke amar to upokar korte paren could you do me a favor sadi uh, you will tell me if anybody ask you this question could you do me a favor what should be your answer could you do me a favor what should be your answer yes of course uh yes you could or uh, yeah uh, could you, yes uh what could i do for you yes sure what could i do for you yes sure what could i yes sure yes uh sure what could i do for what uh could i do for you yes sure what could i do you can ask question again what could i do uh for you how could i help you Okay, how could I be in your health? Or how could I be in your health? Or how could I be in your health? How could I be in your health? Hassan, welcome to our speaking session. Uh, you missed first 30 minutes. You will see the record, watch the record, and you will come to know what we have discussed. Okay, uh, uh, again, we'll repeat at the end of the class. Hassan, can you hear us? Are you audible? Yes, sir. I can hear you all. Okay, okay, fine. We'll uh, come yeah, to you. Okay, fine. Okay, uh, there is a noise from your side. Okay, we'll come to you and we will uh, uh, introduce to you after uh, some moments. Okay, so uh, could you do me a favor? Yes, sure. Uh, what could I do for you? How could I be in your health? How could I be in uh, in your health? This way, our tone should be polite. And in PCS Bhaiba Bose, entire period of time, our tone will be polite. Even if we fail to understand, or even if the board uh, wants to irritate you, annoy you, your tone will be very, very uh, polite. Sometimes they may, uh, say in PCS Bhaiba Bose, they may tell you, you uh, say, uh, you, uh, uh, you are, uh, uh, you are, uh, 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 you are, uh, over smart, over smart, uh, we see. Okay, in Bible Wars, if you are asked uh, something like that, you are over smart, uh, we see. Uh, what should be your answer for him? Uh, you are over smart. We see. What should be your answer? Sir, then I will politely uh, answer that, that sir, uh, actually, sir, uh, I am not uh, in, in a situation, actually. Uh, sorry, sir. Sorry, sir. Okay, mm. Please Sadia. pardon me, sir. Please pardon me, sir. Please pardon uh, me, sir. Okay, Sadia. Okay, he will seek pardon when uh, Baiba Bose uh, says him over smart. Okay, uh, Sadia, what will you tell? You are over smart, you see. Sir, I will pardon. You will seek, apolo seek, you will seek apology? Yes, sir. You will say, uh, what will you say then? What you will say then? Mahfuz Rahman, what you will say to the Bible boss if you are talk 
you are over smart you see mahfuz rahman unmute yourself then talk uh, sir uh, sorry sir uh, sorry sir okay uh, hasan what would be your answer you are over smart you see सॉरी सर Uh, you responded to him uh, okay here uh, sorry sir uh, yes uh, you can say something like that it covers but actually actually sir uh, he 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 told me that uh, actually you can't give the answer over smartly uh, in that case sir uh, i respond uh, him sorry sir sorry sir oh, okay yes uh, you uh, should not answer over smartly yes in that case your answer was okay but if they ask you this question in a uh, in response to a question or in that case you can say uh, you can back apology but in overall case in overall case uh, if they say something like that you can say sir i don't think so or uh, okay uh, uh, not for particular question you should be bold here uh sir uh, i uh, don't i uh, don't uh, okay uh, think uh, so okay i sir i don't think so if they want to insult you in that case you should be bold i don't think so sir i don't think so uh, okay but if they uh, ask you you should not answer uh, over smartly yes in that case you you may beg apology uh, sorry sir okay but uh, overall in, in case overall performance if they say you are over smart we see suppose you have uh, answered in a way and they have told you are over smart you can say sir i don't think so okay as uh, you let this uh, sir then you can say i don't think so okay well and if uh, uh, which in which board did you appear and in which vs uh actually is uh, it was the board of uh, Noor Zahan, madam. Forty-first BCS. Ah, uh, no. Ah, uh, actually, forty-third BCS. Ah, uh, actually, I have uh, already selected as cadre, as uh, as technical cadre. Actually, I got it. But such type of question has been raised uh, from there. Actually, Noor Zahan, madam. Madam, uh, ret retirement in is in retire retirement in forty-third BCS. उड if we do not uh, do not recommend you as a bcs do not recommend you recommend you as a bcs cadre what would you do if we do not recommend you as a bcs cadre uh, sadia what should be your answer in this question we will learn uh, this sir. yeah what should be done i will, i will prepare for next business other job exams 
I will be. Uh, I will prepare uh, for next business. Other job. Simple answer. Smart answer. We want to hear smart answer. Fine. Sadia's answer is very simple. Smart answer. Fine. What should be your answer? Sir, my answer will be that, uh, sir, sir, actually, I am already recommended in 43rd BCS. Uh, sir, if you don't recommend me in this BCS, then I will try again and again until my um, success. Uh, good, nice. Me, yes, you can say yes. You should say uh, here you can praise them first. You should mm -hmm. praise their decision, their uh, decision first. You, you can say something like that. Sir, you will, uh, you would select those who are mostly competent for this, suitable for this, and uh, your choice should be, must be the best choice. And if you think I am fit for this position, you would recommend me uh, as a BCS cadet. If you think I'm not fit, fit for this position, you would recommend others who are perfectly fit for this position. In that case, I would, I will try to uh, meet up my low fools. I would, I would try to uh, meet up my low fools or gaps, and will try to come here again through next BCS. At first, you should honor their decision. You should praise their decision. Then you should point out that means if you actually if they do not recommend you, in that case, you will minimize the gaps, uh, uh, fill up the low fools and try to come here again mm -hmm. through next BCS. Okay, uh, this way we will go through a lot of questions and at, initially we have shown you the course outline and our task will be to speak more, more and more. And you will speak, today I'm speaking from next class, I will not speak, you will speak, I will hear, okay? And these are the issues that means uh, you have to keep in mind that we should be very polite while speaking uh, with others. And if we fail to understand anything, even though we should be polite, our tone should be polite and uh, we should respect others uh, decisions, other choice and others opinions as well. Uh, okay, say so, uh, you may be annoyed at somebody's peace, even though you can say you are right in your position, but I have different opinions. Say so, uh, you are very much annoyed, uh, annoyed uh, at somebody's position. Even though you say, you may say, you are right in your position, but I have uh, some different views in this regard. Okay. Well, uh, now let's uh, start a few words. At first, uh, today uh, we'd like to start with uh, your uh, university education uh, first day. Uh, normally, we will start with. Uh, from uh, next class, uh, that means just one minute, uh, day one, very uh, easy topic. It will be uh, describing your daily routine. Uh, we'd like to start our speaking with this. First topic is very easy topic, describing daily routine, asking questions about educational background. We'll ask you next class, we'll ask. Today, informal talkings will go on. Here, now uh, we'd like to take Fahim and we would like to ask Fahim some questions. He will answer. Fahim, keep your video on. We all will ask uh, you questions and okay. And you Person. will answer. Okay. Uh, initial talking, I'm talking again. These are initial or uh, informal talkings. These other days, we will discuss it smartly. Okay. Why you would like to be BCS carer? Fahim, why you would like to be a BCS carer? So actually, I am an engineer, and I want to uh, stay here in Bangladesh. And as the BCS is a prominent job field in Bangladesh, and there is job security, and there is uh, social respect, social values. So that's why I want to be a BCS cadre. Okay, you want to be. Uh, you have many other options. You are engineers. You can work in engineering field. Uh, but why you would like to come uh, to BCS? So actually, my first choice is BCS Foreign Affairs. Uh, and uh, as I am an engineer, the Bangladesh is now on the uh, verge of uh, least developed countries and is going to be a uh, developing countries by 2026. Then there will be in need of 
technology sharing with other countries. Then if I, I, I become a diplomat, then I can have the negotiations with other countries and technology, technology sharing with other countries. And I can have uh, opportunity to work for my country in that respect. Okay, uh, technology sharing. Okay, you would like what type of technologies, technological ideas, uh, can you share uh, with other countries? So actually, Bangladesh is now uh, uh, emphasizing on development sectors like structural development as well as ICT industries. Then, uh, in the infrastructural development, uh, we can have technology sharing with China and the Western countries as well. And besides, we can have the technology sharing in ICT sectors, as uh, we are seeing that about 4 million of our young generations are now are working in uh, the technology-based job industries like uh, cybersecurity, as well as in freelancing. So th that I can have the technology sharing with uh, the yeah, industrially developed as well as technologically developed countries. Okay. Uh, uh, you as a have diplomat. Okay, as a diplomat. Okay. Uh, do you think Bangladesh is in risk uh, going to fourth industrial revolution? And if yes, what type of risk uh, are there for Bangladesh going to fourth industrial revolution? So I will uh, use the word uh, challenge uh, in in, in regard of uh, the risk that. Bangladesh have some challenge okay. because uh, we are on the verge of a fourth industrial revolution. Actually, the uh, the technologicians are saying that it's, it's now uh, fifth industrial revolution have been started, and we have to improve our human skills as well as the technological skills of our young generations, and we have to have the proper measures in spreading the vocational educations. And uh, the coding and cybersecurity terms should have uh, uh, sh should have been introduced in, from the primary level, I think. Okay, uh, should have been introduced for the primary uh, level. Okay, are you are we ready to accept this? Mm -hmm. Sir, our young generation and our child are also very smart now. They have smartphones, and uh, they are. Uh, having their classes through uh, the, uh, uh, using the smartphones, then we can have uh, some uh, challenges. We can have some challenges, but we can implement this, sir, I think. Okay. Uh, how would you explain technology canny and technology addict? How would you explain the terms technology canny and technology addict? So I think technology can he means uh, to uh, use the technology uh, in uh, in the proper in the proper way. It's, it can it can have the technology can he and technology addict uh, that he is confined in technology. Technology is driving someone. He is he is driving by the technology, and uh, he is one kind of slave of the technology. It can it can have the technology uh, addict, and technology a people. Addict. Yeah. A man who is using technology for his own purpose, then it can have, it can be the technology can. Okay. Okay. Good. Okay. Uh, some questions uh, to Fahim, uh, Mahfuz Rahman, Engineer Mahfuz Rahman, Sadia also from and Hassan. Uh, okay. Some questions to uh, uh, say. Fahim, informal questions, not formal questions. You may ask any questions you want, except personal or political affairs. Mahfuz Rahman, first. Question to Fahim, engineer Fahim. Mahfuz Rahman, can you hear me? Can you hear? Mahfuz Rahman. Uh, uh, yes, sir. Actually, uh, hello, Pembai. Actually, yes. uh, is this uh, first BCS for you or? Uh, my, 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 my first BCS is 45 uh, BCS. 44 uh, is second. Am I, uh, am I, am I audible? Yes, yes, you are audible. audible. You are audible. Okay. Just uh, actually, you are, you, are, 
you are taking a uh, preparation for a long time i think uh, for uh, uh, actually to be a business career actually uh, already you have told that it is a prestigious job and uh, you want to stay in bangladesh so you know that as an engineer uh, a lot number of people uh, uh, students uh, just are going to abroad to take uh, higher study and also for getting some uh, good facilities uh, that is, uh, I think it is a rare case for in case of Bangladesh. So, uh, in that perspective, uh, actually, why are you showing your interest uh, to stay in Bangladesh? By actually, uh, we are reading from the very childhood the Real Royce famous poetry that Amar ei deshete jonmo jono ei deshete mori. এমন দেশটি কোথাও খুঁজে পাবে না গো তুমি সকল দেশের রানী সে যে আমার জন্ম হবে সেই কবিতা একটা এটা সাজার নাটকের একটা কবিতা সেখানে বলা হচ্ছে যে সকল দেশের রানী সে যে আমার জন্মভূমি এবং এখানে একটা পঙ্ক্তিতে বলা হচ্ছে যে আমার এই দেশেতেই জন্ম যেন এই দেশেতেই মরি তো দা টিচার্স আর টিচিং আস দিস পয়েন্টস ফ্রম দা ভেরি চাইল্ডহুড এন্ড উই আর লার্নিং ইট উই আর উই আর হ্যাভিং দা পয়েট্রি and uh, yeah. the experts are saying about the brain drains that it will affect bangladesh in the nearer future so i think uh, it was my decision and as well as my family decision to stay here in bangladesh and work for my country sadia two two uh, two questions uh, to uh, engineer fahim sadia is a doctor right Yes, sir. Doctor. Okay. Dr. Sadia. Full name? Sadia? Sultana. Sadia Sultana. Dr. Sadia Sultana. Okay. Dr. Sadia Sultana. Questions to engineer Fahim. Um, uh, Mr. Fahim, you have completed your graduation from Chuet. So I think you, you are staying at Chittagong. Uh, have you seen the mega project of Chittagong of Bangladesh government? Yes, the mega projects are uh, there for uh, in Chittagong, and uh, we are we have the uh, tunnel, Karnafuli tunnel, which is the first in South Asia, and numerous mega projects are here in Chittagong, the flyovers, and uh, mm -hmm. the uh, Bangladesh uh, Bangladesh government has implemented a. Uh, a solar panel in Rangamati 2, 50 megawatt solar panel. So numerous uh, activities are there in Chito. And the Kondofuli tunnel, it is the first in uh, South Asia. So it is a proud. And now I am not in Chito, actually. Actually, my uh, graduation has been completed. Now I am in uh, Dhaka. Okay. Have you heard anything about Bangabundu Shilpanagar? Yes, sir. Bangabundu Shilpanagar. Where is it? And do you have an idea about it? It is in, uh, uh, sir, uh, the uh, area is called, sir, uh, I'm gonna... uh, yes, sir, it is. Mishrai, yeah, uh, Mir Mirshrai, Mirshrai, Shitakundo, Feni, um, and comprising three, uh, three Upojilas. Uh, this is the biggest uh, economic zones of our country, right? Yes, sir. Okay. Okay, last question from Sadia uh, to uh, Engineer Fahim. Uh, Engineer Fahim, please tell me the advantage of uh, deep Matarbari seaport. Okay, yes. Okay, Matarbari so mother vessels, mother, The mother vessels uh, came from the uh, outer side of our country, cannot reach in the Chitong port. And they have to stay in the deep sea, and uh, the, uh, the the carried out the goods and the whales. These have been uh, these these are being uh, passed through from the deep sea. And if we have the deep sea port like Matarbari, then we can have uh, the mother seas uh, settle there, and we can easily uh, the transform the goods, uh, mainly the whales, the crude oils. Throw uh, the and like the coals in the deep sea port, then it will be our very efficient uh, job that uh, we and, and less 
time consuming mother vessel you are talking about the mother vessel can anchor or can harbor uh, they are right yes sir okay mother vessel what do you mean by mother vessel big actually ship. The, what do you mean by mother vessel actually the big ships like uh, big ships big, means in what sense uh, how ships, is it measured can... in big ships in size or big ships in wide or big ships in in terms of what big ships which are carrying uh, nearly 10000 to 20000 of containers are you sure they are called mainly the mother ships 8000 to 10000 t e u containers carrying yes sir okay well uh, okay 10 uh, 8000 to 10000 t e u t u uh, T E U. What is, does it mean? Twenty uh, uh, twenty dash units. Okay, I can recall. T E U. Okay, uh, twenty E. Do you know what is the meaning of E? Twenty. Actually, I can't recall it now. Two. Okay, twenty. Uh, T T hello twenty. E hello units. Twenty. E, oh, equivalent units. 20 equivalent units, TU, 20 equivalent units. And here, uh, 8,000 to 10,000 TEU uh, equivalent units containers can harbor. And now in Chittagong port, uh, Chittagong port, what is the capacity? Uh, what capacity of uh, ships can anchor here? So two to, two to 4,000. Yes, 2,000 uh, TEU containers uh, carrying uh, vehicles can okay if uh, for not having uh, any deep seaport what type of problems usually face um, deep seaports uh, we have unloading, yeah, yeah. Actually, unlo unloading the goods like uh, the crude oils it is the main problem for us that it is uh, very very much time consuming so how do and... we uh, how do we unload this now so before the mother yeah yes yes sadia before the mother party seaport, we have to be dependent on Singapore or Indonesia seaport. Now we can um, unload our own containers. Yes, 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 yes. Fine, fine. Okay, we, we, uh, we, yes, we have to depend on Colombo, uh, Sri Lankan Colombo, uh, Singapore uh, or Malaysian, yes, uh, in the Malaysians, deep seaport, yeah. Good, nice. Okay, thank you, uh, Fahim. Now we'd like to go to Sadia. Uh, Sadia, uh, Dr. Sadia, uh, tell me why you'd like to be a BCS cadet. You can serve in clinics, in private hospitals, uh, or in a chari uh, charitable organizations, uh, but you'd like to work, uh, you'd like to yes, serve from a big platform and you'd like to be BCS cadet, why? Sir, in Bangladesh, uh, I have choose to, uh, I. I want to be a government employee and in Bangladesh, there are two sector of government job, the military sector and the public sector. For doctors. For doctors. And for doctors. For doctors. For doctors. For doctors. And uh, I think in the sec public sector, the Bangladesh civil service is the most top paced sector. So I have choose to be a BCS carer. So you have chosen to be a BCS carer. Okay. Uh, well, uh, and what uh, what has inspired you to uh, choose this sector? Sir, I have completed uh, my internship in a government hospital. Um, there, I uh, there I have completed my internship under the Yolo Sar and BS ma'am who are business cadres. So. And uh, during my undergraduation, there was a tour in Upo Jela Podishad where I visited the admin cadre, veterinarian surgeon, agriculture extension officer that inspired me to come this sector. Okay, some nowadays we have seen some doctors and engineers choose admin cadre and police cadre. Uh, do you have such choice? Yes, sir. My first choice is admin cadre. Okay, you are doctors, but you want to be an administrator, and you have acquired education uh, throughout your uh, yes for a long period of time in uh, medicine, medical science. But now you'd like to serve in administration, and uh, do you think it will be wise for you? 
Yes, sir. I think it will be wise for me because during my undergraduation, I have completed my internship. I have worked in field. I have managed the field. I have worked with normal people. I have served people. I have managed the official work. It also a administrative work. Um, so I think I can relate my subject knowledge in the administration but, too. But you can uh, serve people directly to treat them or uh, that means, uh, yes, if you serve in your own field and you have much better chances to serve people, the country from your own discipline instead of joining administration. Uh, yes, what's your answer? I have not. Uh, study in this regard. So you have to have this answer from next class. Okay, now question, uh, Fahim, engineer Fahim, engineer Mahfuz Rahman, question to Dr. Sadia. So, Ms. Sadia, your uh, first Dr. Sadia. Okay, Mahfuz, continue. Please continue. Okay, Dr. Sadia, actually, uh, you have already mentioned that uh, you are a doctor, but you want to be a foreign cadre or administrator. You want to be uh, her first choice is admi administration. Uh, administration. Admin cadre admin. or administrator, administration cadre. But uh, you know that uh, as a doctor, just uh, you have already completed and uh, you are named after as uh, a doctor. So uh, if you want to consider for uh, actually your development from the initial stage, our government have uh, taken more steps uh, to uh, to create your position in such case. So uh, in that case, uh, actually, uh, how can you uh, how can you actually follow? How how can you give your uh, uh, Actually, you doctor as an administrative cadre. How can you justify it? Is it justified or is it logical? Yes, sir. it is, uh, is logical. It lo actually, is logical. it logical? Is it logical for a doctor to be an admin cadre? Your question is, is it logical for a doctor to be an admin cadre? Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Yes, Sadia. Yes, sir. Dr. Yes, Sadia. Yes, sir. I, I think it is logical. Uh, Why this is logical? The a question to answer to my ready for an I am a study. Okay, Mahfuz, uh, can you give her this answer? Actually, sir, uh, I can add something. Yeah, okay. uh, actually, uh, in terms of our country, if uh, she would, uh, she can fulfill her, her dream as a uh, administration cadre, then uh, she will be able to serve uh, for a wide spread area. Actually, as a doctor, she. Uh, people and uh, in case of uh, actually medical sector but uh, uh, you know that uh, as a administration uh, actually engineering sector uh, medicine sector and all terms are uh, managed by a administrator so i think uh, she will get the proper opportunities uh, to utilize her Ports in case of widespread area. That's Watch all I think, sir. Area. Okay, uh, here, uh, uh, Engineer Fahim, uh, can you add something to this? Uh, Sadia wants to come to admin sector and Dr. Sadia, and is it justified? Sadia has no answer. Okay, uh, can you uh, give her some opinion? So, this is now going to be a developed country within 2041. So we will have to have a development in the public sector too. And if Sadia, Mr. Ms. Sadia, Dr. Sadia, become an administrator, then he can have a 
chance work for our healthcare sector and uh, have the healthcare sector be developed and uh, to the uh, healthcare to the uh, common people to the people to people of our country so he can have the great chance to develop the healthcare sector not binding upon so called uh, the uh, i mean patient to patient uh, the uh, treatment health healthcare treatment okay so it 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 can have a greater chance as a doctor to if sadi mustadi became administrator then then she can have a greater chance to develop our healthcare sector Okay. Okay. Well, uh, we will go to this question, Sadia, uh, Doctor Sadia. After again, uh, another day, she will have some preparation. Okay. Well, Doctor yes. Sadia, and uh, how are you preparing yourself for BCS? Uh, for BCS examination? Uh, not BCS, uh, Overall BCS preparation. How are you preparing yourself? Uh, how have you? uh st uh started the journey and how you are how you have been going on how you have been preparing yourself throughout this long journey after my after i completed my graduation i have started the preparation of bcs i have uh, read i have studied the subject related books the daily newspapers and i i try to keep my up to date um with the <clears throat> Huh? Okay, carry on. First, and second is one third step. You can tell about that. Preliminary okay. written, preliminary yeah. written, yeah. and high graph. Yes, yes, carry on. You can um, include this step. Yes. Yes, Dr. Sadia. Uh, after. After uh, passing the preliminary exam, I have ex started to take preparation for my BCS written exam. Um, I have I, I have, have read yes. read through the subject related books yes. uh, of the various writer. I have also read some books out of academics, and they, I have read I am very newspaper. Okay, thank you, Dr. Sadia. Okay, we'll come to you next class. Okay, now we'd like to go to uh, Hassan. Hassan, uh, yes, now uh, yes, you are audible, I think. Uh, probably you are in sound uh, a little while ago. Okay, uh, why you uh, at first say something yes, about you? At first say something about you. Okay, thank you, sir. Mm -hmm. I am Abu Hassan. I, have, I graduated and was graduated from Dhaka University. Department of Botany, and now I am trying to prepare for uh, for BCS high uh, levels. Recently, uh, I am uh, yeah, I am going through uh, several hard times because uh, I am totally jobless, and uh, I have uh, a complete uh, dedication. Uh, to BCS, and I have uh, finished uh, recently uh, 45 BCS generation also, and uh, I have a uh, big dream about my uh, BCS, and it is uh, very passionate uh, to uh, acquire uh, my uh, first choice cadre. Thank okay. you, sir. What has inspired you to be a BCS cadre? Uh, uh, many, well, there are several uh, things uh, that inspired uh, that is inspired me. Especially uh, my first choice is uh, foreign affairs, and, uh, and when I uh, when I prepare myself as a uh, BCS, BCS candidate in before preliminary exam, when I read uh, the contribution of Mujib Nagar government's diplomacy uh, and their um, success in diplomatic sector and that uh, inspired me most. And finally, uh, when, uh, when uh, 
uh, when a diplomat uh, represents uh, his country uh, to the other country as uh, as uh, as country's self interest uh, it inspires me most Thank you, inspired sir. me most. Okay, here, when you will be asked this question, what inspired you to be BCS cadre? You can make up some story like this. Uh, uh, once when you were university third year or fourth year student or second year student, you met one of the BCS cadres or you met one of the secretaries or you met one of the joint secretaries or uh, say BCS cadre and, uh, and you talked to him and uh, then you understood what type of facilities the VCS cadre enjoys, so high social status, the, his respect in the society, his dependence on people, his control, influence on people inspired me a lot. And I have seen very close, he, he must say talk about you, one of your uncles or one of your relatives or one of your senior brothers of your university became business cadre and he came to hall and he shared his story. Okay, and these things, hearing all these things, uh, inspired you to be a business cadre and uh, they are domain of knowledge, their respect, their social status, their, their thinking, all these things charmed you a lot and inspired you to be business cadre. And since then, I have devoted myself, myself, my study uh, for being a business cadre, okay? Uh, uh, well, uh, Hassan, uh, what's your hobby? Do you have any hobby? Yes, sir, I have so many hobbies. Especially, so many uh, okay. Okay, which one is your first? Uh, okay, first, first, first uh, yeah. Uh, in the weekend, I like to uh, uh, do a painting, especially uh, oil painting. Okay, at the uh, weekend, you uh, you participate painting. I, uh, yes, yes, sir. Okay. I Paint, like to do painting. Uh, like to you like to do paintings. Okay. Yes. Uh, can you then, say you are you are a good painter? Uh. Yes, uh, I, I, I want to be a good uh, best painter in future. In future. You want to be a business cadre at the same time you want to be a good painter. Uh, do you think these two things contradict? No, sir. It's, uh, 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 it enhances my knowledge and uh, passions in one's, uh, one's mind. One's Especially... Mind especially in uh, uh, increases one's uh, creativity. Creativity, okay, thank you. Okay, uh, thank you. Uh, now, uh, Dr. Mahfuz uh, Rahman. Yeah, okay, Hassan. I have, uh, I, I have to like uh, recite uh, any poems in my campus uh, vocation and I, I have I I performed so many uh, uh, so many events uh, in uh, Pohala Boishak. On the day of Pohala uh, Boishak, on the day on the Pohala Pohala Boishak, Pohala Pohala on the yes, on the day of Pohala Boishak, on the day of Pohala Phangun, on the ceremony of uh, farewell, farewell ceremony of our campus. It, okay, it, okay, it, okay. okay, nice. Okay, uh, Doctor uh, Mahfuz Rahman. Okay, why you'd like to be business scheduled? BCS, uh, general cadre, right? Mahfuz, uh, general cadre? Or foreign cadre? Mahfuz, unmute yourself and then talk. Engineer Mahfuz, you are not audible. Uh, you are not audible. No, he's out of control. Okay. Okay, uh, just uh, now I'd like to show you something uh, for uh, next class. Uh, uh, class material. Uh, it will be uh, very easy things. That means what you do the whole day, every day. Uh, can you see a screen? Dr. Sadia, can you see a screen here? Yes, sir. Okay, just uh, describe what you do the whole day, every day. I have given you here a model. You will follow this and you will have to add or deduct something to this. And I'm telling you how. So, uh, thank you, sir, for giving me chance to say something on today's selected topic. Our today's selected topic is what I do every day. I'm a BCS Viva candidate. So most of the part of my daily routine is based on study and study related work. I usually wake up early in the morning because I do believe early to bed and early to rise makes a man healthy. Well, then why? Soon after waking up, I wash myself. After that, I say morning prayer. After saying prayer, I go to bed and sleep for one hour. 
and one hour 30 minutes i leave bed at 7 a.m then i wash myself again after that i sit study and continue my study for an hour at 8 30 a.m i take breakfast here i study for one hour in case of you study uh, you may add uh, you may add the name of some books that you usually go through and technically here you can add uh, books written on uh, uh, liberation where or written by Bangabundu uh, Sheikh Mujib Rahman. Okay, and uh, you can say regularly I uh, read some books written by Bangabundu Sheikh Mujib Rahman to know about himself, to know about uh, uh, the time of liberation where to know how he thought for the people, how he worked for the people, what lay in his mind. Okay, here in reading part, you will add something about the books written by Bangabundu Shak Mujibur Rahman or books uh, on liberation where, or books uh, that uh, that means uh, that relate to the government, in favor of the government, it may be uh, written by Sheikh Hasina or Bangabundu Shak Mujibur Rahman or on liberation where. And then you will uh, tell uh, other uh, daily work activities. So you will have to add something in your reading part. Say you start, you spend almost 30 minutes to one hour on reading books written by Bangabundu Shak Mujib Rahman. And you can men mention some name of the books. And while reading this book, I get immense pleasure. I can come to know those things. I can come to know that things. I can, uh, I imagine how that time was, how he thought, okay, how uh, his uh, feelings uh, for the people. You will add something to this, okay? And then you will describe your uh, whole day's uh, work. Then you'll get some follow-up question here, asking question about your uh, educational background. Where did you pass ACC from? Did you pass ACC from the uh, same educational institute. Uh, then uh, uh, what was your subject uh, in honors? What is your subject? Uh, was your subject very interesting? What is your result in SSC, ACC? Uh, you obtained GPA 5 in SSC and ACC, uh, but very scored in GPA in honors. Why? Uh, you obtained higher education uh, from university. You can uh, be an entrepreneur. Why do you want to be a business cadre? Why are you engaged in any co-curricular activities in your university life? Uh, why do some students get engaged? Uh, 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 why do some students get engaged uh, in co-curricular activities? Why are you engaged in uh, politics? Who is the BC of university? Who is the teacher? Who is the founder of your village or uh, college or university? Uh, 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 these easy questions, we will start with this easy question for next class and slowly, slowly we will come with difficult uh, questions, difficult topics. Uh, Mahuz Rahman, you uh, were unavailable for some uh, uh, moments. Now, can you hear? Uh, yes, sir. Actually, oh. sir, at first I need to clear that uh, due to due to poor network connection. Actually, sometimes uh, you get disconnected. Actually, uh, yes, you get disconnected. I have been yes, sir, unavailable. Uh, no. yes, okay. Sir. Uh, say in one minute about uh, why you want to be business cutter. Say in one minute why you want to be RBCS cutter. Mahuz Rahman, are you audible? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes. Why you want to be a BCS cutter? Uh, your first choice is? Yes, sir. Now I'm audible, sir. Uh, what is your first sir, choice? Uh... Sir, this is foreign affairs. This is foreign affairs. Okay. Okay. Uh, say so why you want to be a BCS foreign. Uh, okay. Foreign category. Yes, yeah, so Thank you, sir. Actually, uh, actually, I want to be uh, a diplomat because uh, as uh, I have completed my graduation from Russia University of Engineering and Technology on civil engineering discipline. Uh, I think uh, as an engineer, if I want I want uh, to get the opportunity to be a diplomat. Actually, I uh, will be able uh, to use, uh, to utilize uh, my uh, uh, thoughts uh, in different sectors, actually in wide spread uh, area. And also, uh, actually, I will get some opportunities uh, to create uh, uh, some position for our structural development. Actually, uh, 
from different countries uh, i will share my thoughts uh, uh, with different ministries and uh, the people uh, who are involved in uh, government services and uh, also you know that it is prestigious issue uh, uh, actually because uh, uh, as a diplomat uh, i will be able to represent my country in uh, the in different in different countries thank you sir okay nice okay uh okay uh do you think you are Hello, for this? yes yes mahfuz we can hear you mahfuz rahman we can hear you can you hear yes, us sir. okay 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 well good uh do you yes, think sir. you are uh, you are fit for this do you think you are fit for this uh uh, I think, sir, uh, I am uh, totally fit uh, uh, to be a diplomat, sir. Uh, to be, uh, okay. What special quality you have that uh, uh, that fits you for this position? Uh, uh, thank you, sir. Actually, uh, to attend this uh, position, actually, I have uh, sufficient confidence and also uh, uh, I have uh, a good negotiation uh, negotiation capability, uh, and also uh, I am a patriot. Uh, I have sufficient patriotism, and uh, also I have good some com uh, good uh, communication skill, mm. and uh, I I am also passionate. Thank passionate. you, sir. Okay, nice. Okay. So, sir, uh, yes, yes, Hassan. Yeah. Uh, uh, this uh, will uh, this uh, answer will be uh, I am a very quick uh, thinker and decision maker and have a good relationship in me and uh, have a very far uh, have a expert in negotiation any uh, uh, global issues uh, negotiation global issues then they may ask you have you ever made any decision in global issues okay uh, you should uh, mention that you have previously done. If you say uh, I'm a negotiator in global issues, but you have not made any uh, say uh, bargain bargain with uh, global powers, uh, bargain with other countries, uh, decision makers. So uh, you shouldn't say like yes. You can say uh, group words. So I can work in a group, and in that case you can yes, sir, sir, example sir. of yes. example of previous I got you. group activities. Okay, you will mention the qualities that you have already proved yourself in the past. You should not mention anything that you have not done or you did not do. Okay. Well, we'll yes, learn sir, a lot you, of sir. yes. We'll learn a lot of things. This is totally learning session. Uh, if anybody fails to understand anything, other yes, person sir, will sir. help you. I will learn from you, and you'll learn from co-participants. Okay. This way, our entire session will be very sir, very interesting. Sir, yes, Mahuza. I need. Sir. I, I need to share with you one thing is that yeah. sir, yeah. actually for uh, getting a good cooperation, I think uh, we need to open a WhatsApp group, sir. Yes, yes. Okay, so Mahmoud Rahman, you will uh, open a WhatsApp group and you will uh, invite, uh, uh, take, uh, you add all these things. Okay, next class, they will, uh, you will uh, share this uh, WhatsApp group in the uh, in this group. This is in our uh, say 44 business Bible speaking group and everybody will join and you can talk among yourself okay out out of the classes okay so thank you sir okay good thank you sir okay and uh, last one minute at first i'd like to say uh fahim how do how do you come to know about me uh, how did you come to know about me but actually i am a student of you till 43rd vcs written Oh, Fahim. Okay, okay, okay. Forty third BCS written. Okay, okay, fine. Okay, okay. Thank you, Fahim. Uh, okay, and Sadia, uh, Doctor Sadia, how did you come to know about me? I searched in YouTube for Viva uh, English Viva spoken courses, and I found. Okay, you searched in YouTube English Viva uh, spoken course, and you found me. Okay, nice. Okay, Hassan, how did you come to know about me? I know you uh, through my friends uh, when I studied in Central Library, um, uh, and I have a course uh, about math in uh, Alamin Sir, and you uh, uh, maybe uh, stay in that floor, and 
there's I have oh. I am I from know the, you. Yes, from their source, you know. And Mahfuz Rahman engineer, Mahfuz for a long time student of mine, and he has been with me for a long time. Okay, good. Uh, and he's very devoted, and he has been with me for a long time. Good. So this is the end of our first day, and next class we will have a uh, more interactive session. And into the, uh, while speaking daily routine, you will add something. I'm told. I'm telling again. You will add something about books. What you read, you should add something that speaks in favor of the country, in favor of our father of the nation, Bangabandhu Sheikh Mujib Rahman, in favor of our incumbent prime minister, something like that. And this will uh, favor you in Bible reports. Thank you all. Uh, uh, yes. Yes. May I ask you? Yes, yes, sir. yes, yes. Sir, uh, sorry, sir. I am not sure about the uh, class days. Oh, class Friday and Saturday. Friday and Saturday, 9 p.m. to 10:30 p.m. 9 p.m. to 10:30. I have any PDF to yes, share I, myself. I have shared this PDF in the group. Have you joined the group? No, Hassan. You will have to join the group. Yes, yes, sir. Yes, sir. I request this. Okay, I'll, I'll approve you and PDFs are here, okay? You will get all the PDFs are here and I will uh, prepare say 70 to 80, 70% answer of the questions and you will have to prepare another 30%, okay? You will uh, just, you will have to send uh, joint request to the group. Have you sent already? Yes, sir. I okay. do it. Uh, okay, you have sent it. If you have sent it, I will approve you and then uh, you can, uh, and uh, you will get everything here. And class mm -hmm. record, class record will be shared there. And you, uh, you can do one thing, that means uh, uh, you can hear what you have spoken, where you have made errors, okay? And you can rectify yourself after what Sir, yeah. sir I, I have a problem uh, yes. in me that uh, I, I am not uh, uh, I am not uh, uh, Yes, it will take time. It will take time, okay? No, it is, that's why this time we have expanded our course. Earlier it was only 16 classes and in one month. And this time we have expanded to 2.5 months considering the request of our students, okay? And uh, that's why you will get long time and day by day you will improve yourself, you will change yourself, okay? And you will go through the uh, topics, you will speak it at your house you know, two to three times. Uh, if uh, you'll try to speak the answer of the questions two to three times loudly so that you can hear yourself. And this will give okay, you uh, solid, uh, it, it helps you bring fluency. Okay, so this is the end of our uh, tonight's session. Thank you all.